Hi there. I'm Jeremy Krug, and I'm going to work free response question number five on the 2023 AP Chemistry exam. This is a short problem, and it's worth a total of four points out of the total 46 on the free response section. Just so you know, I'm recording this video on May the 3rd, 2023, and the official answer key has not been released yet, so I'm doing my best to share what I think the correct answers are. Just a disclaimer, I do not work for College Board. I'm just a chemistry teacher who's been teaching AP for 23 years, and sometimes I make a mistake. And remember that any answer that is chemically and factually correct will be accepted by the AP readers, even if it doesn't match what's on their key. So with that in mind, here's question five. Number five starts out with a gas law question. It tells us that HCl is a molecular gas, is a pure substance, and we're gonna have uh, part A. One is asking us to calculate the number of moles of HCl gas in the container. And it tells us the volume, it tells us the pressure, it tells us the temperature. So this sounds like an ideal gas law problem, PV equals nRT. So we just plug in those values. The pressure is the 7.45 atmospheres. V for volume is the 6.00 liters. We're trying to find the number of moles in. R is our ideal gas constant, about 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And T is the temperature. It's given to us in Kelvins, which is kind of nice, 296 Kelvins. So now we just have to do the algebra on that, and we should get a value of N equals 1.84 moles. So give yourself one point if you got that. Now part two tells us that we're going to take this container of gas and cool it down to 271 kelvins. What's the new pressure? So what's changing in this problem? Well, temperature is changing and the pressure is changing. So P and T, that sounds like a Gay-Lussac's law. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. And so just plug and chug. P1, your starting pressure, is the same as it was before. It was the 7.45 atmospheres we had from part A there, part A1. And the T1, the starting temperature, is the same as it was before up here, 296 kelvins. Our P2 is what we're trying to solve for, that new pressure. The new temperature is 271 Kelvin. So we just cross multiply and divide, and you should get an answer that P2 equals 6.82 atmospheres. I know that there are probably several students who might use the combined gas law for that, plugging in 6.00 liters for V1 and V2 in that, and that's perfectly okay. That gives you the same answer, and that is uh, perfectly chemically correct. So give yourself a point if you got that one. Moving on to number th uh, part B, the third point on this, uh, it says we have the chloride ions formed and it says draw three water molecules with the proper orientation around the chloride ion. Now for this you have to remember that water is a polar molecule and water that means that water has a positive pole and a negative pole. And so this is the way that you should orient them. The, the positive pole of water is the, the hydrogen side, the electro-positive side there, and then the oxygen side there, that's the electro-negative side. So you should orient your water molecules so that the H's, or like the ears of the Mickey Mouse, if you want to call them that, are all facing the, the negative side. So you should draw it something like that. So give yourself a point if you got that one. The fourth and final point, on this problem is a, is a weak acid, or I should say it's an acid problem. Uh, it's about Ka. We have Ka for these three acids here. And the question is, in this diagram, it represents one of those three acids. Which acid is it? A nitrous acid, HNO2, hydrochloric, or perchloric? and justify using the information. Well, what you want to notice here is that in the table we have a whole lot of undissociated acid molecules, which we have labeled as HA. And we only have a very small fraction that have dissociated into hydronium. Here's a hydronium here, and here's the conjugate, acid, or conjugate base, A negative. So since we have very few of the acid molecules ionizing, this tells us that it's a weak acid, you know, because not too many molecules of a weak acid are going to ionize, generally speaking. It also denotes a very small equilibrium constant. And the only acid for which that 
would hold true in this in this table would have to be the nitrous acid. So it has to be HNO2. So if you got that answer, then give yourself one point for that one as well, for a total of four points on this short free response question. And that's question five. I hope you got as many of those four points as possible. I'd really appreciate it if you could slam that like button. It helps get the word out about my videos to the rest of the AP Chem community. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.